G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today I'm taking a look at a video called The Simp Chronicles, How to Kill the Simp Inside by a YouTuber called Justin J. Original video link is in the description. Go check him out, give him a view, like, and comment. Let's get started. Hey, boy, right? Let's see what's good, guys. It's your boy, Justin J, coming to you with another car video. Let's cook, boys, let's cook. All right, The Simp Chronicles. What is a simp and how to kill the inner simp? All right, guys, when you're a simp, you're going to be going out of your way for women a lot, guys. You're going to be just trying to do the best job that you can do at making her see that you're her best option available, right? But see where you... So how do guys do that? So there's a multitude of ways that I've seen it done in the past. I wouldn't say I've overly simped in my life. I, I've been a maybe a fake nice guy, so I know how easily that approach is. But a legitimate simp is something I don't think I tru truly have been. But I think what's so long and short of it is it's guys who legitimately are attracted to um, want a woman, in love with a woman essentially, or feel that feeling of love. And they're so enamored with her, they'll literally do anything that she wants him to do without any expectation from the man that he's going to receive anything uh, in return or doesn't return love, or if, it, or if she does, it's at a very surface level just to keep the guy hanging on. And while we, a lot of women say they don't keep orbiters um, and hangers on on purpose, they're just floating around waiting for their day in the sun, I think they actually do because they, they do breadcrumb a lot of guys knowing exactly what they're doing um, to be able to feed off them for attention or, or to you know get benefits, whether it's... Um, things bought for them, um, taken places, picked up in the middle of the night from nightclubs, help with moving, fix going over, fixing things if you're handy, you know, fixing taps, you know, putting together um, furniture for them, all sort of bullshit like that. You know, you're a nice guy. You're showing her that you'll be a great boyfriend. But sure, it's okay to do those things if you're actually her boyfriend. But when you're not, and she's probably seen other dudes, and you're going and doing it um, without ever seeing anything in return. Well, I think that means you're a simp. And I think a lot of guys too, how they fall into that trap, is like a sunk cost fallacy. It's like you spend all this time working on this chick. So you think you're working on her, you think you're working her down, you think you're, you're smooth, you're being a player. Um, you're in there, you come up with this strategy on how to show her and demonstrate to her, you know, it's almost like a case study for a job interview, how much of a good guy you are, thinking that she's going to think that you're awesome. But it... What a lot of guys don't know, I understand, is they don't, if they're not attracted to you, they don't give a shit about all the things you're going to do for them. That isn't going to make them like you. That's just the reality of it. And it's a painful realization for a lot of men who get overly invested for long periods of time, um, pandering to women, thinking that one day she's going to just see and realize what she has and pick him. And it's going to be like the movies, you know? You go wrong when you do that is... A woman already knows, like, okay, have you ever had a woman say something to you like, you know, you would be the perfect husband. Like, if we're still single in 10 years, like, <laughs> you'll make the perfect husband. Guys, that shit is completely beta. It's completely corny for you to even sit there and accept a woman telling you anything near that or anything like that, guys. Never accept that shit, right? So, what a simple... Oh, I've actually um, know of guys that have said that to me. Guy I used to work with had this massive crush on this chick and he'd always talk about it. And I was just a debate if she was even bloody real or not. I never saw her or anything like that. But he'd go on about her and he goes to me, me and her have an agreement. And this was years ago. I'm talking like almost 20 years ago. If we're both not married by 30. She said she'd marry me. And he was like, that is a good deal. Like he was so ecstatic about that. And I'm just like, sounds like the shittest deal I've ever heard. But hey man, if that keeps you going uh, in life, good for you. You're good. Like, I try to say to him, you know, uh, sounds like the shittest deal ever. Why are you accepting that? Um, you know, keep you on the hook for bloody 10 years with the, think, with the thought that you're going to marry her while she just goes and gets absolutely guts busted in the back of car parks. <laughs> but guys do it. Guys do it because they think, once again, I've always gone about this. And it's a very interesting thing. It is social programming by the media. Different forms. You've got Hollywood. Um, you've got 
books, you've got TV shows about the nice girl and she has like, you know, the shitty boyfriend and then she also has a friend there and the friend there is hanging in there and then she finally realises at the end that she dumps the shit boyfriend um, and goes out with the best friend and all of a sudden they love each other uh, and it's happy days and life is going to be perfect until the day they die because she finally realises, wow, I think I love this man, you know? That doesn't happen in real life and if it does... It isn't going to be happily ever after. You're going to get used up. You're going to get chewed up. She doesn't truly love you, respect you. And you're going to get spat out somewhere down the line. Or you're going to hate your life. You're going to be married to a chick who never really wanted to be with you in the first place. It doesn't respect you. Uh, and you're getting really nothing out of a life of servitude. Is a simp is a guy who puts a woman before himself, guys. To the point where it's sickening. And she knows that it's sickening. She even wants to vomit on herself sometimes. Right. So it really doesn't get you anywhere with women. And at the end of the day, if the woman does choose you at the end of the day, just know you're about to suffer, guys. Let me give you an example. One time I made this delivery. Right. And this guy came to the door, but he didn't have the money to pay for the food. So he went and got his wife. Right. And she came with them, like with her purse to grab the money. So when she's giving me the money, she's like, did they apply the coupon? And I'm like, no, they did not I'm sorry. It's right here. It's not here. She started wigging out. Oh my God, I can't believe they didn't. Da, 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 da. And he was just like, babe, calm down. Shut up. Shut up. Don't you even talk to me. Don't tell me what to do. And he was just looking back at me like, you know, super embarrassed, right? That's exactly what I'm And that's what I mean. And, he, and once again, as I say, guys putting themselves in a prison of their own creation. I say this all the time. And that's my saying, guys. I'm going to fucking coin that. I don't know if anyone else says it, but I've legitimately have always said that. We make all the worst decisions in picking women. A lot of guys will just take the only woman that will take them. Just to, just to think that they have somebody. And I can understand why men do it. Because there's a scarcity involved with the competitive landscape of landing a woman that you want to be with. And so guys will get a sniff. though. A woman will finally come around. Or you can tell she's sort of half interested. You lack onto that. You lay the, lay the special treatment, the royal treatment. You hand her everything. You hand her commitment. You hand her babies. You buy her a house. You get her a car on finance. You do all that sort of stuff. And just like this guy is saying through his example, you get browbeaten, become a beast of burden. You're working, working, working. And what are you doing You with all your pay? Either she's spending a lot of it on Amazon deliveries, um, bullshit, any other bullshit, clothes, uh, nights out, uh, still having dinners with the girls and all that sort of stuff. Uh, brunches that you're not invited to, that you don't go to. You're giving her all this money for all this sort of shit. So you're working, really. You're paying a very high subscription fee to be married to a woman who doesn't want to be married to you. And a lot of these women that end up marrying these sort of guys under these arrangements, they're cheating on them. They're prolifically cheating on them because they don't give a shit about the dude. They couldn't care. There is no level of regret. Um, or, or, or conscience in any way. And as I've told you guys in some a lot of my some of my other previous videos, back I used to womanize a lot. And through my womanizing days, and I'm talking like 20 years on and off here with relationships, but really most of my life I was doing that, chasing women. That was like my objective. And the amount of times I've been with women and then you find out after that they're either married, long-term relationship, or just have a boyfriend or whatever it is, so they don't really respect. Yeah, it's quite astonishing. Um, you just think it wouldn't happen, and you think it might be one in a bloody lifetime occurrence. No, no, very, very common, um, especially on dating apps. I know that scares people, and guys hate hearing that, but it's the raw truth, and I've, and I've said this on other videos, copped a little bit of backlash about it in the past, and it's not like I went and hunted these women knowing their situations. The women are very sneaky. They can... Be sneaky with their husbands to do this. They're sneaky with the men that they do it with. And they also put the men that they're doing it with in bad situations because then they get a simp husband who then the woman will say, oh, he forced me into it. And the guy goes to your house with a shotgun, blows you away when you open the front door. So a lot of these women that have these sort of guys, they just trash them their whole life. They extract benefits and live a double life. You're going to, a lot of people say, oh, no, that's very negative. I'm not saying it's all women. I'm saying it's a lot of women who are married and unsatisfied. Like once again, the number of women that I even went out with on dates um, post my separation and divorce um, and who had been around a similar age and had marriages and separations and all that and told me that they'd had affairs. Like, like literally just told me because they were trying to say and justify it. Somehow telling me on the first or second date they've had affairs like I wasn't going to run for the hills. But telling me because they weren't getting what they want and they were victimized in a loveless relationship that they were trapped in. Everyone who, who told me something like that, it was the same 
story. So keep your eyes open, guys, especially you guys who are simping. This is what, if a woman does accept you, this is what you're going to get. And I told another story. I can ramble on about this forever. A, a, a good friend of mine, um, I did a video. It's called a Brutally True Australian Stories, guys. Take a look at it. It's about cheating wives. It's four guys I know very well who will probably fall into the simp category, um, into the pedestalization, pedestalization sort of category. And all of them got ripped, ripped apart, ripped to shreds, lives destroyed. Go listen to those stories if you want some true stories. Things, guys, I know. They're in my like pretty close network. Nothing good comes out of it. What I'm talking about right there. Guys, you're only going to get disrespect, right? When a woman doesn't, like, when a woman doesn't see you as her, like, best option or the number one, guys, no, walk away. Yeah. You have to kill that inner beta. Kill the inner simp, guys. Because what the inner simp is going to do is have you acting off of emotion, moving like a woman. And, guys, it will just lead you to your own demise, guys. Spot I on. broke someone's jaw over a female, guys. Did that stop her from, you know, having sex with other dudes and being a 304? No, not at all, guys. It did not do anything. It just made me go psycho. And now when I look back on it, that chick got pregnant by a complete bozo. And now I'm that dude. Guys, kill the simp. Straight like that. Kill it before it kills you. Love that. That's a really good saying. But once again, another story. A guy who was a former... A uh, guy who pedestalized women. He looks like a, a, a well put together guy, fit. Maybe he wasn't then. Maybe he's obviously found himself. Maybe Jim and all that got in fit, changed his life. Like a lot of guys do once they get, you know, dragged through the mud, dragged through the coals, dragged over the broken glass by women, lives destroyed. Many, many men, they will never admit it to you. Even if they, to their friends um, or, you know, um, to wider society, they come across as an alpha. Still, these these behaviours are ingrained in them by society. Be super nice, be super agreeable, whatever you want, whatever you want, baby, whatever wants yours, blah, 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 blah. And those guys, even to the outside world, they're, they're fit, they go to the gym, they might be good in their jobs, they get cheated on. They get fucked over with Bryce's, with Chad's, Dino's, Pookie and Ray Ray's, Tyrone's, wherever you live, Juan. Sergio, the scuba diver instructor, you know, the, the gym trainer. And, you, and, you, and they'll never admit it and they find out about it, but they'll never tell anybody about it. So a lot of that stuff goes under the rug. Anyway, guys, look around halfway through. Um, if you're enjoying the content, please sub to the channel um, going for 8,000 subs. So if you enjoy it, give us a like subscribe and comment and guys really help me out especially video shoot at the end that's what youtube values um and that's what gets me put out to more people and if you do want to check out my patreon link in the description as well but no pressure there guys let me give you another example right on this simp shit you will fuck with a girl who does not respect you just for the simple fact that she's having sex with you let me give you a story right another colombian chick story so this is a colombian chick right super gorgeous right but I know she's a 304, but I'm letting certain things slide and acting like I don't care, even though I do care, right? So I made my move. We hooked up one night. She's like, yo, I got to go home, but let's make this happen tomorrow. So the next day comes. We make it happen. Guys, this chick, she was fired. So when everything is said and done, she's looking at me like, so where do you see this going? Like, what do you want from this? And I'm just like super excited, heart beating super fast on some simp shit. I'm just like, you know, I'm trying to be with you if you want to be with me. And she's like, <laughs> that's cute. I don't do relationships. <laughs> then sinks her head into my chest, looks up at me and whispers, I'm sorry you caught feelings. And then goes back to cuddling in my chest. And no, 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 guys. Not like cuddling me like I want to be wrapped in your strong arms right now. It was more of a cuddle like, I'm sorry I had to break your heart, simp. Guys, I will never forget that shit. I will never, ever 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 forget that shit that wasn't even too bad but a lot of guys um get their uh guts hearts absolutely ripped out like have you seen indiana jones i think it's temple of doom and pff, the dude rips the guy's 
hard out and he's, he's the guy shows it to the guy and he's like staring at it and it's still pumping as it happens to a lot of dudes that's why a lot of guys go to red pill black pill content because <clears throat> they have a really bad experience they feel a really negative sort of way um, and they start looking for answers and maybe sometimes they go to the extreme because they've been hurt so badly um, but yeah I think women can be very very cruel um, to men be very very nasty to men and can do some long lasting damage with the things that they say and they do especially to the nice guy or simp is what people call them I know I've made fun of simps in my previous videos um, you know like the only cans ones but I can understand the nice guys who think it's a winning strategy to put women in front of them yeah put up with so much bullshit like my, my mate Larry alright I don't think I've told you guys this story my mate Larry, who I always tell you about in all my previous videos, and really good guy, my, probably my best mate, really. Best guy, if I could say, from an actual man, being a man and being someone with integrity and morals, far better man than what I am. Like I, I, I truly mean that. But he gets just absolutely destroyed for every chick he goes out with. So he was previously married, um, wife, wife of like 20 years, cheated on him some dude she worked with and look that was the only time she got caught it would have been going on for years and years and years with different men and just so anyway he had a horrible experience almost ended up in a uh, mental institution like i've told this story a number of times like his friends took him there because i worried about him so he had some good friends who were worried and they didn't know what to do with him because they didn't want him to do anything uh, bad to himself um they took him there and they were gonna literally admit him and he started crying and screaming. Like that's how that's how a woman and women can push men to ruin their life. But what does he do after that? He just learns. He learned nothing. He learned nothing. I'm not saying men when they go through bad experiences should never see women again. I never get on with women again. You need just to be very careful because now you've learned. You've been burnt bad. You, you, you've seen the worst of life and divorces and bad breakups and heartbreak is probably the worst thing that many men will ever go through. Most painful emotional pain you'll ever have that takes a long time to get over so once you get through that you've got to be a bit more careful right be more careful about who you're letting into your life i don't agree with no girlfriends ever again and none of that sort of stuff but you need to be careful like one in a hundred is girlfriend material that's my perfect that's my view i've said it all the time girls of dating apps girls that you go out with one in a hundred is probably girlfriend material and even less than that probably marriage material that will actually last and be good for you but regardless of women, you always want to be putting up with bullshit, regardless of how good they are. But it's the level of bullshit that you put up with. But back onto that, sorry, I'm ranting. I can't help it. I get charged up over this. But good old Larry, he goes out with any girl that blows over. Like it's like a paper bag that lands on his lap and he grabs on, he latches on. Right? The first girl on dating app that gives him any attention, he goes all in. Even though he says to me the whole time, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not that interested. It's just going to be a short-term thing. Next thing you know, three months later, she's ripped his guts out. She's ripped his heart out and thrown it on the ground, discarded him, blocked and deleted him, whatever it is. And these are all single mums. All these are single mums or, or chicks that are like 40, early 40s, um, who've got some serious issues of dating apps, who've never been married or anything like that, um, that are just like walking red flags. They just fucking smash him because he's soft. And do you think he's learning? No. You think he's, he'll never learn. This will keep on happening his whole life. Regardless, he does watch a lot of this content. He knows about my channel. Um, he watches other men's channels that might be even more extreme than me. Does he learn anything? No, he hears it. He tells me he's he's a red pillar and all that. He's not. But he knows this stuff. He listens to it. But the behaviors and, and knowing about the world and knowing how to improve yourself so it doesn't happen again and protect yourself. Many men don't learn. And so what I'm trying to say is Simps can either improve or they'll stay like a super nice guy simp their whole life. I don't know, make a decision, I think. It's not a hard decision to make. You understand me, guys? You understand how serious this is? Moments like that, you're going to be at your lowest and you're still going to be thinking like you got some type of prize with sex. No, because you don't got the respect. Guys, let me tell you, when you're a simp, you're vulnerable. And what do women always say i just want a guy to be vulnerable with me no they don't it's a complete lie that's why you being a simp just doesn't make sense guys when you're dealing with women you have to be dominant damn near aggressive sometimes assertive 
get your point across say what you mean mean what you say be direct all the time right but never be direct don't be a jerk or an asshole be direct lay a boundary but let them know damn sure that if the boundary is crossed there is a repercussion for that and stand by it as much as you don't want to enforce it since i started doing that a few years ago I, the quality of women I, I was able to meet go with that respected me at the time um we, you know whether it was just dating or whatever it was, just increased dramatically, all right? Boundaries. Don't be a pussy. Don't be a pushover. Because you'll hear women say, oh, I like, you know, I like this guy. He told me, he put me back in my spot. As much as it sounds like bullshit it's, and it sounds like an obnoxious woman talk, which it is, it's true. It's not being obnoxious. It's not being abusive. It's laying a boundary and saying, hey, mm-mm, all right, shut down whatever bullshit she's doing when you don't agree with it, if it's reasonable to do so be a simp and i'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of guys in here that have had simp stories that's why i'm putting the stories in there so you can relate guys you still have to look back yo i was that fat piece of shit never going back to that again yo i was a simp as dude never going back to that again you know what i mean guys so we always have to you know keep our game tight but yeah being a beta male right the one thing about being a beta male that really gets you nowhere is like there's it's like a scent that comes off of you you know like when you're on semen retention and like the pheromones like a woman is just drawn to you because she can just literally smell it off you you know what i mean she can just feel the tension coming off of you right it's the same way with a beta male simp beta male simp mangina they know you are because even the way you look at them like, I'm telling you, I see it in passing all the time when I'm just being me, ignoring chicks. There will be a dude literally just like, <sighs> like, God damn, she find her ass fat. She That's like fucking every other dude out there. I reckon 99% of guys are that. Especially like I've done all these videos with making TikToks. I made like 150 videos or something like that about TikToks, guys. And no matter how deranged the chick is in her TikTok, you got an army of guys, armies of guys bending over backwards telling her how beautiful and lovely she is and how they'll man up and be the man, regardless of what her rant is, whatever stupid thing she's saying. You will literally walk past them, walk past them, guys, and just be beelining for me, like looking at me or looking at somebody else selecting the area. Like, I'm telling you, and I just be looking at dudes like it's crazy how she just stole all your energy. And like, you know, she didn't have to give you a drop of hers simp shit and you might even think oh he's just looking that's not being a simp that's being a simp bro that's being a simp because what if that lady no not even what if she got a bunch of options you don't know if she's married whatever you just look real quick and keep it pushing but for you to be like oh my gosh like she better never give me a chance to hit that i'm shooting up the club you're a simp bro because she got a nice body you don't even believe in yourself like that trust and believe when you you I used to hang out with this guy um, for many, many years, and he'd always do that. Would be just hanging out or whatever, be driving or drive past a group of girls. He'd be like, "Oh my God, J Man, did you see that?" Oh, fully pedestalize him. Like I barely, I didn't perv and I, I'll notice him. I never say nothing about it. I just have a look at oh, yeah, in my mind. Yep, yeah, good looking, whatever. I'm like, "Oh, oh man, I'd smash the back out of that." You know, you know, guys who say that, oh, "I'll tap that." Oh yeah. What do you think? What a loser. It's a lot of married guys who say those things to me too. I'm not having a crack at married guys. It's just an observation I've made. Think about it, guys. When you've been on, um, you know, uh, stag do's, bucks nights, whatever you want to call them, wherever you're from, bachelor parties, whatever you want to call them, and there's strippers there, and they're doing all sorts of filthy stuff. It's like you can always get these few guys that are seem normal, same normal, quiet kind of guys. Once you get a couple of beers in them and a few strippers around, well, hey, they just turn into filthy animals. <laughs> like, like thirsty, desperate, disgusting, almost graper type dudes. They tell, put in the comments if you've experienced something like that. Where you just see some behaviors from guys and you just like, you never look at them the same again. Use language like that, it exposes you guys. Treat women like they're normal. When you're a simp, you really, you're higher prone to self-deletion or to delete her if she does something that you don't like or if she steps out of the relationship. Guys, when a woman wants to step out of the relationship, it's cool. But see, that's why a lot of dudes do that type of shit because they're not select off rip. They don't, listen guys, do you feel like this about yourself? I could leave my house, right? And go to five to six different spots, like a grocery store, I don't know, Target, 
I don't know, just name five places. I am completely comfortable that if I make five approaches in each store, I can have sex with at least one girl a day. Like, that's how I feel. I'm that select. Do you think most men Jay, feel down, like buddy. that? No, not at all. So the simp controls them, not the masculine identity. The simp controls them, guys. And you must kill the simp because, guys, women will double back around for you. I don't care if it's 10 years from now or 20 years from now. Women are going to double back around and they hope that your mindset does not change. Like I always say. If they double back around, you know what they do? You didn't want me the first time. Piss off. I had that happen um, back in my monster hunting days. I remember there was this one girl. Um, really attractive girl, Hungarian chick. A long story short, she full blown rejected me. This was just, this was years ago. Oh, she was really rude to me about it actually. I was on a dating website or something like that. I can't remember now. Like RSVP, which is one of those date, actual websites before apps. And then I, you know, in that time I got married, divorced, all that. Then I ended up back on the dating scene and I matched her there again and I recognized her. She was still there 10 years later, maybe even longer. I met her, I, never, I didn't say I recognized her, I met her, put her away, got the job done, full blown monster hunted her, and then she goes to me, you look really familiar, and I said, yeah, I think we might have matched a few years ago, uh, but you rejected me, that's what I said to her, and then she went all red, and she goes, I shouldn't have said that, should I, and I said, no, <laughs> and I never saw her again, and I wasn't going to see her again anyway, I just had to put her on the, the chop list, but the point I'm trying to make here is, if someone passes you up the first time, they go hoping they're going to come back. I'm going to make a video about, um, which is sort of sort of linked to this, but the, the no contact rule um, when you're either trying to get with a girl, uh, you've broken up or you've been dating and you've broken up or you've been in a long-term relationship and broken up. I'm going to talk about this no contact thing. So I'm going to do a video about that too for you guys. But yeah, if I don't want you the first time around, definitely don't take them back the second time around. The guys, there's a billion chicks out there don't go holding up your life just for one that you've put on a pedestal, hoping that in 10 years' time she'll come back around when you improve yourself. Hey, so if you're going to be that dumb dude, you know, she's going to go out and have her fun, and you're going to be the simp waiting to give her a luxurious life or waiting to give her a fun time. Now, fuck all that. She got to earn anything if you even did want to let her come back. Nah, like you know. I always say, guys, don't do it. And that's a part of killing the simp, too. When I tell guys to walk away from a woman when she's playing games with you, it's for a reason. That's killing the simp. When you're with a woman in a relationship and she wants to leave or she's just had it and she's done, let her leave, guys. That's a part of killing the simp, killing the inner beta. Because here's the thing, you can spend a lot of time alone, but if you do not perfect your game and take it out into the field, you're just going to get bitter, guys. You're just going to get bitter, and being bitter is beta. Being bitter is like, yeah, it's very beta, guys, because listen, and I know a lot of people might think, well, your videos, you might be, you sound like you're bitter. And yes, I have had my heart broken. Yes, I'm very hurt. Guess who's still? So I love that when people say that, oh, you're bitter, you're hurt, who hurt you? Every man out there, most men out there, 99% have had a woman rip their guts out at some time in their life. Every guy has been hurt by a woman, whether it's a, a friend or someone who puts you in the friend zone or a wife or a girlfriend or a girl you really loved or whatever it is. Every guy is watching this content because they're trying to find out answers as to why someone was able to hurt them so badly. And they never don't want it to happen again and they want to learn and improve. That's why I never really think twice. I've had people say, people who have seen my channel and sent me emails and comments and, oh, you're just trying to scare men or you're being negative. I'm not. I tell men just what happens, the truth, so the men can make great decisions in their life and don't, and they reduce the chances of having this sort of life-changing heartbreak that just takes a long time to get over if guys ever do, because a lot of guys don't. Yeah, it's... um. Oh, yeah. But anyway, this guy's talking about being a simp. Um, let's play it a little bit more. Let's see what he has to say. Still thriving. Shit. I don't give a fuck. Killing that beta, if they want to call it like your butt hurt or your hurt, fuck it. I stand levels above other men because their mindset's not even like this. No woman is ever coming in between what I got going on, and I wouldn't even know that unless I killed the inner beta. Guys, have you ever walked like halfway across town to go buy $80 flowers for a chick? Have you ever walked 
like an hour or two away to a mall or whatever to get your chick like a necklace or whatever before you even had a car like you were doing simp shit think back to the early years yeah guys if you were doing shit like that it's best that it happened then and you were able to cut it off you know flip the switch but the simp chronicles means so much to me to tell this story because it's absolutely hilarious guys like you will get played out time after time after time after time using that same simp playbook you know that simp strategy it gets you nowhere it gets you walked all over it's like you're you're a joke like who are you but just remember that guys if you've ever been in situations with an ex-girlfriend or a situationship and the attraction died more so from her than you it's because you were simping too much it's because you were simping too much you're boring you're too agreeable um there's no mystery about you i mean that's the way women work you think that they would want someone who's stable who's doing things for them etc that's why a lot of guys they start looking for this content in channels like mine and others because you can't make any sense of it you're like it's just so backward counterintuitive um as to what you've been told and believe that you would think that a person, the way they want to be treated, they'll hang around if you did all those things. I'm not saying all women are like that, but the majority of them have that in them to some to some scale on a spectrum. I've been told that blatantly by women. The guys are too nice. He disgusts them. Like, like, like I made a video. Um, the, the fake nice guy is a disgusting and whatever. I made it very recently. Check that one out. About fake nice guys finishing last. And the woman in that um, video, which I was talking about, she was very, very blunt about it. I've actually had women in real life say the exact same thing in that level of bluntness to me. So that isn't a, a one-off occurrence from a bitter old lady. Um, this is something that is said all the time. He's too nice. He's boring. She's not happy because he's boring and he's not doing things with her and he's not getting the excitement and tingles going. And that's what women live for. And if you too, if you bend over too much and become too agreeable and too nice and become a little butler to her and do everything she wants and become a butler and a chauffeur and personal assistant and somebody who needs direction from her and approval from her you're gonna have a shit life and it's just good that i think there's channels out there like this guy like mine um like others that can try and encourage men to not act like this because the reality is it's never going to get you anywhere in your life and i just told you about my friend larry he will never learn. And and so with Larry, after he, I told you he goes with all these women, it's been five or six women since he's been back on the dating market that have done the exact same things to him. Used him up, hurt his feelings, probably cheated on him. Just, he's too nice to him. Like, he lives on one side of Melbourne and he drives to the other side of Melbourne to go and take girls out for dinner, like an hour, hour and a half away. Like, I'm literally talking one, one end of the city to the other. Um, the whole fucking, you know, whole metropolitan Melbourne. He's driving through and, and going there three times a week and taking them out, but they're never going to his house. They're never driving out to him. They're never doing things for him. He's running after them, spending all this money on petrol and dates and weekends away. Then they get sick of him after two or three months and fuck him off. It's no different to think about guys who have been able to be in a position where you can sort of pick and choose with, with women, right? Eventually, you know, you sleep with them a few times. You get sick of them, you get another one. Easy come, easy go. That's how a lot of these girls think. Easy come, easy go. Okay, I had this guy for a couple of months. Got bored of him. Easy come, easy go. Back on a dating app. Anyway, guys, that's probably going to be enough for me today. I don't think we need to watch the rest of this. If you do want to watch his full video, once again, the video is in the description. Uh, go check him out. Um, if you have watched this far, thank you very much. See you in the next one, gents.